veteran politician turned humanitarian has used the funds she initially set aside to buy blankets for less privileged children at her hostel in the Kunene region. However, after some well-doer friends of hers in Sweden offered to buy the blankets, Dr. Amadila set her sights on the needs of the police. She teamed up with presidential advisor on constitutional affairs and private sector interface, Inge Damwani Kamui, to purchase essentials worth over 10,000 Namibia dollars. The goods comprise masks, gloves, water, soft drinks, and hand sanitizers. I look at them and I feel very sorry. I wake up 7 o'clock to look at the news. They are all there already under the trucks and the fume of the trucks and the cars. And I thought, let me do something to help my, my brothers, my sons. And, you know, so it's not enough, but later I'll also try and see if we can, can get more. So I got also the masks. For our people who are coming to the cars, and can you have your license and, you know, <laughs> in those ones in the car also, <laughs> that, that exchange. So at least my police officers must use this mask when they are talking to somebody in the car. So I think it was very necessary to get some gloves for them. Nampol Inspector General, Lieutenant General Sebastian Deitunga, expressed his gratitude to the former lawmaker and others. There are other... Um, uh, business and uh, individuals in the community who have also assisted in donating some of these uh, important materials. And uh, our resolve is to make sure that they are, are distributed. Officers stationed at the roadblocks and identified checkpoints in towns and those who are on patrols will be prioritized for the donated essentials. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.